hi in this video i am going to talk about user defined table how we can create the user defined table in sap business one how it can be linked to user defined field and user defined object in sap business one i will log into the sap business one and show the complete demo how udt can be created and how it can be linked to a udf so this UDT series will be of two part in the first part I will show how to create a user defined table in SAP business one and how it can be linked into the user defined field in the next video I will show how the UDT can be linked to a user defined object so let us start the video if you found this video informative give a like subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon thank you so user defined table or custom built table in sap business one udt gives you the ability to store additional related sets of data in sap business one udt is prefixed with at the rate symbol and can easily distinguish from the system table to create udt in sap business one we need to pass three field value we need to pass name description and object type there are six object types available to create a udt to link table with a user defined field we need to select the object type as a no object or no object with auto increment if we select the no object then the code will not be automatically generated in the udt that we have to manually put the code which will be the unique value in the udt but when we select the no object with auto increment then the code in the table udt will automatically generate it so by default when we create any UD udt it will have a two field by default code and name in order to link the udt with the user defined object we have to select the object type either master data master data rows document or document rows note that you cannot change the object type after you have added the user table to the system information about each new udt is stored in the table called outb in the in sap business one so in order to understand the udt in sap business one we will be going to create we will take an example of driver table which will hold the three fields driver name shift location so each additional column in the table will be added will be created as a udf to make a user table directly visible to user form or a document we have to link the table to the user defined field or user defined object note that user tables can only be linked to a user defined field with the alpha type and regular structure so when we link the udf the udf must be created with the type alpha numeric and the structure should be regular so in the example we'll be creating a driver udt which is going to be added in the title of a marketing document when you add a user defined field choose the set link table validation option and link the object can link the same user defined table to multiple user defined field in a different object at both the header and the row level so let us log in to the business one and create a udt called driver and link this udt to a user defined field in the marketing document if you found this video informative give a like subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon thank you tools 
customization tool user defined table setup table name description and object type this is the three parameter that we have to pass in order to create a user defined table so table name driver description driver since i am going to link the udt with a udf so either i have to select the no object object type or no object with auto increment in no object type the code field will not be auto incremented in the no object with auto increment object type the code field will be automatically incremented i will select the no object with auto increment update okay so udt got created we can see in the tool user defined windows driver so i can see the two field by default it added whenever the udt is got created code and name so in order to add additional field or additional column in udt we have to add as a udf within the udt tools customization tool user defined field management we have to select the user table driver add the new udf in the udt so i will add a driver name driver name driver name alpha numeric length 100 add so the driver name field got added into the driver udt i will add two more field add shift shift alpha numeric is it and add shift is also added i will add one more location alpha numeric and then add so three columns or fields have been added into the driver udt let us go and check tool user defined window driver so by default code and name was created at the time at the beginning when we create the udt now we have added three more columns in the udt as a driver name shift and location i can populate some of the rows here driver name let's say a b c driver name abc shift day shift location mumbai india let us add one more row x y z x y z shift i delhi india so i have added two rows in the udt so so far we have created a user defined table driver we have added three udf field in the driver table now in order to populate this driver or in order to use this udt we have to either link this udt with any udf or in any user defined object so in this example in this video i am going to link this udt with a user defined field in the marketing document so i will create a user defined field in the marketing document tool customization tool user defined field management marketing document title so i am going to create a udf at a header so i will select the title add i will add a driver a location a udf driver allocation here one point that we have to note whenever we are creating a udf which is going to link link to a udt the udf must be defined as alpha numeric and the structure should be regular and the validation i have to link it to the link to entities 
and set the link table to a driver add so now the system is creating a udf link to udt in all the marketing documents So now the UDF driver allocation got created in the marketing document and which is linked to a UDT. So whenever we fill the data in this UDF, it will populate from a UDT. So let us go and check. Let us open any marketing document and see this uh, UDF created. So I will go and open the delivery order. So in this uh, delivery order form, you can see there is a driver allocation UDF created. which is linked to our udt and i have populated the two row in the udt so i can see i can select any of the rows in the, in this form so the udt got connected to a udf and now i can utilize the udt which i was created in order to add any rows in in order to populate any records in the udt i can use the define new and we can add the i can add any uh, rows within the udt so let's say for example you can see so i have added one more row using the form and i can see the the row got populated in the udt and which is linked to the udf so i can easily select allocate any driver in this marketing document so this is how we can create the user defined table in sap business one and can be linked to a udf in the marketing document If you found this video informative give a like subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon thank you